oh yes this is definitely a review that you want to pay close attention to because we are going to be delving into the dose of colors at desi and katie collection hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jensine aka jungle naps and today i have the coveted dose of colors desi and katie collection i literally went onto the website as it went live the whole collection and i managed to snag everything they did sell out and as of the recording of this video they have a launch planned for september but there is no date now if you guys don't know desi perkins and um luster lux katie they are you know beauty influencers and good friends and they launched a collection together with dose of colors and i'm really excited to delve into this as far as i know not many women of color have actually reviewed the collection so I'm hoping to give some of you guys that are interested in these colors and um, you know want to see what it looks like on somebody of my skin tone I'm hoping to give you the information that you guys need so that you can uh, be able to slay this and figure out what you want to purchase now I'm hoping I have my fingers crossed maybe maybe my husband will let me swatch some of these on his hand because then those of you guys that are obviously caucasian and of that kind of skin tone range will definitely have something to compare to because i'm aware that everybody watches my channel and i definitely want to be as inclusive as i can so that being said i want to talk about some of these products when you open the box you get this cute little insert i mean how they just look perfect, they look flawless, they are working it. So on this, you've got like the kind of nighttime look here, and then the other side, kind of like the bronzy gold kind of look as well. Now they've also included a little insert here that tells you how to use the four shades from the quad eye palette and it lets you know which ones are wet and which ones should be applied with your finger or brush blah 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 a little description of each which is nice because if you're like me you probably forget which one you're supposed to use with what or whatever I have a really bad memory so things like that really really help now let's just talk about this packaging the rose gold reflective the dose of colors also on this little side here it actually you guys can't see it but it does have their signatures on it which is really nice so if you're somebody that's a collector and you like to keep packaging something like that that's like kind of nice for you the average person maybe won't keep the packaging but still it's nice so opening it up here I mean good lord I don't even know if the camera is doing it justice, but this thing, this whole thing shimmers like crazy. And also I like that they've protected the little dose of colors emblem here, the logo, and that's in rose gold. And they've kind of protected it so it doesn't get scratched up during shipping, which is nice. On the back here, you've got the actual shades. So let me open this up for you guys. And again, my camera is not doing as much justice to this, but I will do some actual close-up shots later. But oh my goodness, these colors are really, 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 really pretty. So on top here, you've got Suze, then Noli. Um, down here, you've got Turbo San, and then Harpoon. So these shades are actually named for their dogs which i think is kind of cute you know when people incorporate parts of their private life into that so it's adorable um i'm really excited to like put these on my eyelids and play with them also these shades here Suze and harpoon should be applied wet to get the kind of you know spreadability if that's a word and color payoff that you want uh turbo sun should be applied with the finger if you want that nice um beautiful color if you guys saw like their little reveal video desi did a beautiful eye look with this and then also you've got uh noli which is the bronze shade here and that can just be applied normal with a brush now they did say that with 
the actual eyeshadow palette here. They didn't want to create a normal quad where you've got transition colors, crease colors, lid colors. They said that because, you know, with their makeup style, they have their favorite crease colors that they use from different brands. So they wanted to create a palette or a little quad palette with all lid colors. So if you're looking at this and you're like, I wish I had a crease color, know that they did not intend that for this collection. Also, diving into the highlighters. There are two highlighters in this collection, which, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less. They love their glow. Now, the first one here is called Fuego, and it has the same reflective packaging that I feel like is just really, really, really beautiful. And when you open it up here, so this one is the lighter highlight color, as you can see, and it's really beautiful. I mean, I feel like, you know, many, many different skin tones can rock this, lighter and also deeper skin tones, and it's definitely designed to give that beautiful highlight bling. So, yes. I'm super, super excited about this. And then the second highlighter is called Mirame, which means look at me in Spanish. Now, same packaging, when you open it up, this one here is definitely more of a deeper, golden, you know, kind of vibes. Um, definitely a lot more darker than Fuego. So if you're just like extremely like deep dark end of the skin tone range and you're like okay well there's no way I can make Fuego work, Mirame is definitely going to be the one for you. Now in the collection we've got two matte lipsticks and two regular lipsticks so let's go into the matte lipsticks first. So this is what the packaging looks like for the matte liquid lipsticks. Now uh, Hot Fire is a very vibrant orangey red very bold kind of statement matte lipsticks and then you have Sauvage which is more of a very dark sultry berry shade that just I think anybody can rock either of these two um, very very I love that they like chose to just do like really bold lipsticks I think that that's bomb instead of just everything nude um, and I love the packaging it's very very classy feeling kind of has a like NARS packaging kind of feel um, on the actual tubes uh, it's awesome then the two regular lipsticks are nude colors we have first no shade and then second is more creamer please so let me take off the little packaging here again same kind of nice velvety matte feel like like that nars packaging that i said earlier now you do have on the no shade it's more of oh gosh the camera is making it look super light as i'm holding this but i'll do a close-up later for you guys and it actually i was afraid that it would be too light but if you're someone of my skin complexion you can definitely add a like a brown liner choose your favorite one anyone works and put this on top of it and oh my god oh my god it's gonna look bomb like I'm so glad that this was a darker nude color because I think now that everybody can work with it, you know what I mean? Now the shade More Creamer Please is definitely a darker cream color when you're looking at it in person. It is really beautiful actually. Oh. Again, same thing, if you want a darker vibe, you can go ahead and add your brown liner or you can use this alone or probably, I mean, if you want to be safe and make sure it doesn't feather, who knows if it will do that or not. Uh, adding a cream tone liner or whatever liner of your preference will be really, really nice. And lastly, from this collection, we do have the Dose of Colors. Uh, it's like a lip gloss. It's called Over the Top. Now, when you open it, this is meant to just be, you can go on alone, but mostly on top of the lipsticks. And I'm sure you can apply it over the matte lipsticks if you want a glossy finish, but it definitely has a lot of gold reflex in it. And oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Ooh, ooh, oh my God. In pictures, this probably sparkles so much. I'm so excited about it. 
Um, I think that they did a perfect job because it's not too glittery, but at the same time, like, you can't miss it, you know what I mean? Now, I think the whole combination of this makeup collection as a whole is just beautiful. I feel like every shade, I'll probably love it. Now, if you guys want to stick around to see how I apply this on my eyes and to see what the highlighters look like on my skin tone, then keep watching. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna start with the eyes first. Now, I'm gonna be priming with my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer and I'm just going to apply this nice and evenly to the lid. Now to go ahead and set that I'm using a flesh tone color so I'm dipping into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going in with this one right here. I don't have the actual shades so that's just the one I'm going to be using um, and then I'm using that to just set it and I take like a light little airbrush concealer brush from Sephora and then I just go over it just so that it kind of blends in with my skin tone and it isn't like lighter than what I actually look like. And for the transition, I'm gonna go in with a warmer toned color, this one right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just gonna stick this right in my transition, guys. It's gonna be really, really simple. Okay, so I'm really excited. Now is the chance when I actually get to go ahead and use this palette. So I'm gonna go into the color Harpoon right here, this little green shade. And they do say to use a damp finger to apply it. So I'm gonna spray my finger with a little bit of water, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip my hand into here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my lid. Ooh, oh my God, that color. That color is sick. That's like, that's really hot fire. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm in love, I'm in love, guys. Now, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my other eye. So if you guys have noticed lately, I'm a huge, huge fan of greens. So how intense this green is, just like, it really speaks to me. But I am going to go ahead and create a halo eye with the color, um, let's see, Turbo Sun. <laughs> okay, so the plans to create an halo eye are canceled and I'm gonna let you guys know why. If you're trying to layer like the uber glittery shades that need to be used with a finger on top of one another, they will not work out whatsoever. So it's really important that you either leave that part bare since you will need to use your finger to get in there. Um, but don't layer them on top because it really, really did not look good. Even though I used my finger, it just looked messy. But I will say that those two shades here are equally as gorgeous. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and line my bottom um, lid with the actual color Noli because it's beautiful, it's bronzy, and you can use a brush with it so I feel like I can get a more precise application. So I'm taking a smudger brush and just hugging my bottom lash line. And now I've got a pencil brush and I'm going to wet it. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip into Suze and use that as an inner corner highlight. I will say that Suze is one of the chunkier shades. You should definitely apply it in like a padding motion, otherwise I think there will be a lot of fallout. And honestly guys, I mean I like the shade Suze, but it's already, it already has like kind of a lot of fallout like gathering together in the actual pan. I don't know, I don't like that. I mean. I think it could have been super gorgeous, but I'm not really one. It kind of looks like messy on the eye. It doesn't apply super like nice and creamy. It's like chunky-ish. I don't know. That shade I'm not too fond of. But the other shades in the palette are really, really beautiful. I went ahead and did my liner and lashes off camera but if you're interested I use the Inglot gel liner number 77 and then for my lashes I use the House of Lashes and Sephora collab in the style Natalia you guys can check the descriptions and all that 
jazz uh, if you guys want links and all that good stuff so we're gonna move on to the highlighter and I'm going to do one highlight on each cheek so on this side I'm gonna do fuego and the other side is gonna be mirame I'm gonna go in with a fan brush first into this beautiful golden shade and I don't know how intense this is gonna be but uh, hopefully it's gonna be just right Ooh. Well now, isn't this beautiful? This is gorgeous. I mean, this is very, very, very beautiful. As you guys can see, it looks just nice on my skin tone. I'm gonna add a little bit to the forehead. Now on the other side, we're gonna go ahead with Mirame. Can't wait to see what these golden tones look like. Now, it's definitely a lot more subtle on my skin tone than the other one, but I mean, it's still nice. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush from Shea Moisture in the shade Spice. And then I'm gonna go in with uh, Fuego and I'm gonna go down the center of my nose. And of course, I'm gonna smooth that out with a little shadow brush. So because my eyes are like super bright, I'm definitely feeling the nude color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take more creamer, please. I'm gonna try it alone first, and then I'm gonna see if I need to add a brown liner or what. And then my plan is to go in with over the top after that. So this is what it looks like alone. You definitely need a brown liner if you are a woman of color or a person of color in general. As you guys can see now, I added a brown liner and just kind of like blended it together. I think this looks so beautiful and I have a really good feeling about adding over the top on top of this. So this is the nude lip combo. I mean, you guys. This is freaking gorgeous. Like, these, this is the type of nude that I would actually wear. Um, I think, you know, if you're a lighter complexion, you don't even need a brown liner, of course, but I mean, my goodness. Mm, I'm like feeling myself, you know? Uh, it's very, very, very pretty. So this is the final look that I created. Now, I wanna talk to you guys about my first impressions. Um, for the eyeshadow palette, you know, I do love the shades and I love how pigmented they are, but I would definitely suggest doing your eyes before the rest of your face because it can get messy very quickly. As you guys can see, like I quickly figured out that you can't layer two shades on top of each other, especially the ones that need to be applied with your finger. You can't put it on top. You just have to use either keep that space bare. If you can get your finger in that area, that's great, even better. And of course, you won't be able to use a brush with some of those. So as much as I love the pigmentation, sometimes I find like using it a bit hard. And I think if you're just the average person and not a makeup artist, that might be a little bit more complicated for you. So definitely do your eyes before the rest of your makeup. That way it'll look a little bit cleaner. You won't have like glitter going on everywhere. But I will say that this just, the pigmentation looks fabulous. Desi and Katie did a wonderful job like getting the pigmentation, those colors. You can tell that they really put in a lot of hard work. And I think if you're going for a more dramatic, like full face kind of look, it's definitely gonna look beautiful, especially like I've got that liner on there. It just brings the whole look together. Um, I love both highlights. Fuego is gorgeous and then Mirame is gorgeous as well. I think as far as which one is better, it's gonna be more of like a personal preference. I love more of a brighter golden highlight than more of the deeper uh, golden shades, you know? So I think both can definitely work on a bunch of different skin tones and definitely people of color. Both are gonna look beautiful. It's just gonna be your personal preference as to which one you think looks better. As far as the lip shade, more creamer, please. I think it looks really nice. And if you pair it with a brown liner, it's gonna look 
banging you guys and that lip gloss over the top is just like the final touch like I can't even stop looking at my lips because they just look like so like juicy <laughs> but overall I really really love this collection and I cannot wait to do more looks with this since I got everything now I really gotta like put it together you know and uh I'm, I'm really, really excited and I think that if you use your imagination, you can come up with so many different looks. So it's definitely worth the purchase. Just there's some things to take into account as far as how to work with the eyeshadows. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review and found it useful and I hope that you guys liked me including my swatches from my husband. <laughs> I hope some of you guys appreciate that. Um, yeah. Oh, and don't forget to check out some of my recent videos that you can find over here. And if you're not subscribed, girl, what you waiting for? And if you're not sure if you subscribe, double check and uh, click that button that I've got. It's somewhere here. I never remember which side, but it's here. <laughs> All right. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.